Hayley Moyle. I'm from Hillstone Primary School, a school which is one of the Ogden Trust Pilot Partnership schools. I'm here today to show you some experiments that you can do in your own classroom with your own children. The first one is a Key Stage 1 based experiment which will look at light and also at different types of materials and how they let through light. So this is called the Bear Cave Experiment and quite simply the Bear Cave is represented by a black bucket. I've done this with the children in my classroom and they find this really exciting. So all you need is a medium sized bucket, it can be large if you want more children to work on the same one or small if you'd want the children to make it themselves. You need a small peephole which will be the children's viewing hole and also a larger hole taking a square shape on the back and just simply two Velcro strips at the top and at the bottom which you can then attach different types of material to. And then inside you need to stick lots of different pictures, nice to use images from the text, the bear, the lantern, maybe the different size lantern that the mummy uses. Some of those images inside of the bucket can be reflective. So the first part of this experiment is to have your children have a look through the peephole with an opaque cover on the window to see if they can see what's inside. And when they do look inside the cave, they won't be able to see much at all. So this is when the learning about light sources comes in. So take an LED candle, switch it on, then place that underneath inside your cave. Get the children to take a look now and they will find it amazing what they can see inside the cave now. They will be able to see obviously all of the reflective pictures inside there and there's a really good lead on to a conversation about materials. Some of your children may have noticed that from the start of the experiment, they could see a fireplace in the background. That will lead really nicely onto a discussion about translucent materials and how light travels through them. While you're on the topic of materials, this is when your window comes into play a bit more. And I've got a range of different types of materials here, some translucent, some opaque, some transparent, and the children can explore how light travels through different materials and allows us to see what's inside the cave. So here I've got my nice pink curtain. And when your children take a look inside for the third time, they can compare what they can see now to what they can see the first time. Misconceptions that some children in my class have had when I've done this experiment before is that mirrors are light sources. So a really nice idea after placing the opaque window back on is to put a mirror into the cave. What can they see now? If they can't see anything, why can't they see anything? Loads of discussion leading on from there. You may have some gifted and talented children in your class as well, and a really super idea with this experiment leading on from what we've already done is the concept that light doesn't beam from our eyes, which is a massive misconception with younger children. The fact that light needs to bounce into our eye to enable us to see. So that's just one of the experiments we're gonna have a look at today. That was the Bear Cave experiment.